And here's our man in a tux, Tom Ingle. Double O three and a bit here. I'm on a secret mission from the BBC to discover why certain James Bond collectibles are being snapped up in Oakworth. Get down. Get down? And this? I'll get it all dirty. Now, pay attention, would-be 007s. This is Stuart McKell, and this is just a tiny part of his magnificent James Bond memorabilia collection. Stuart, let's go through it. First of all, this is the piece that started it all off, is that this right? Is the one. This is the Corgi 261, the gold car, as you remember from the, the film Goldfinger. It's got all these special features. It's got the rear bulletproof shield. It's got the machine guns with uh, overriding rammers. And, of course, the classic. Are you ready? Yeah. Fantastic. Ejector seat. Ejecting man. Complete yeah, with man as well. Ejecting. Just tell us about the rarer ones. Uh, the Gilbert Spy Watch. In collecting terms, that's a must-have. The 12-inch uh, the action figure with cap firing gun in tuxedo, that's got to be in the collection. And uh, the action set, which is from Goldfinger with the laser table scene with uh, Goldfinger on odd job, they're the pieces that you need. It must actually um, cost quite a lot to keep this hobby up. It didn't to begin with. Because they didn't seem that many Bond collectors, but now, yes, there's an awful lot of Bond collectors out there now, and, and everything's at a premium. And what does your wife make of this? At first, she was a little bit, not more rubbish, not more kids' toys. I think she's she's resigned herself to it now. But it's, it's the certain pieces she likes. She can see, she can see the nice pieces, but she's just given up now. <laughs> Very good, but that's got to be just about the worst Sean Connery Absolutely. impression I think <laughs> I've just about ever heard, isn't 